sometimes when you're dealing with radical equations, you'll end up with an equation that has um, radicals on both sides, and occasionally you'll end up having to do this squaring process twice. So what I want you to do, uh, what I want to do is run through an example here that uh, details that process so you have a little exposure to it. This is actually example A in your uh, text, your online text for the special cases with radical equations lesson. So let's go through this step by step and uh, just sort of work out the process. First thing we need to do is isolate one of the radicals on one side of the equal sign so that we can square it and get rid of that radical. So to do that here, we're going to get rid of this second one, this minus square root of x minus 3. We're going to move it to the other side. So we'll add this to both sides. So we're going to add square root of x minus 3 over here and over here. And that'll effectively give us our starting point, which will be square root of 2x plus 1 equals 2 plus the square root of x minus 3. Now we'll square both sides, and we'll get 2x plus 1 over here. Let me go ahead and write in these steps for those of you following along mostly by visual. Um, and that'll be equal to, and this is a uh, binomial square with a positive center, so it's going to be 2 times this, or I'm sorry, this, the first term squared, plus 2 times the first term times the second term, plus the third, uh, second term squared. So the first term squared is 4, and then 2 times the first term times the second term would just be 2 times square root of x minus 3, and we want 2 of those, so we're going to have 4 plus 4 roots of x minus 3. And then the last term squared is just x minus 3 because the square cancels the square root. So now we'll combine like terms. We have a positive 1 over here, so we'll subtract it from both sides, which makes this a 3. And then we have a positive 3 and a negative 3, so those are just going to disappear. And then we have 2x's over here, so we'll subtract the 2x's, and they'll go away. And we'll subtract the 2x's from 1x over here. So then that'll leave us with nothing on the left-hand side and 4 roots of x minus 3 minus 1x, because positive 1 minus 2 is negative 1, on the right-hand side. Now we'll move this x over, so we'll add x to both sides here. Again, trying to isolate this other radical now. We already did one and got rid of it. Now we need to do the same process and isolate the other one and get rid of it. So we're going to add x to both sides. It'll go way over here, and we'll have x equals 4 roots of x minus 3. Now we can square again. We'll get rid of the second radical over here, and we'll have x squared over here. Let me go ahead and write in that step, sorry. We'll have x squared on this side, and that'll give us 4 squared, which is 16, times square root of x minus 3 squared, which is just x minus 3, and distribute that 16 out. That'll give us x squared equals 16x minus 48, and then we're going to put everything on one side so that we can solve for x, because now we have a quadratic equation. So if we subtract 16x and add 48 to both sides, that'll give us, move a little arrow up here so everybody can see where we're going, x squared plus 16, no, I'm sorry, minus 16x, sorry about that, i fix that, x squared minus 16x plus 48, uh, my hand is working a lot faster than my brain apparently, equals 0. Um, 16, 48 is 12 and 4, and 16 is 12 plus 4, so if we had negative 12 and negative 4, that would work. So we'd have x minus 12 times x minus 4, so factoring that trinomial out gives us this binomial which means that x could either be positive 12, since that would make this one 0, or positive 4, since that would make this one 0. So our two solutions are x equals 12 or 4. That's all there is to it.